Hello everyone and welcome to my true crime channel. I hope you're all okay and having a great day. So Don Wells has recently said that him and Candace are not really suspects anymore and that they've kind of been cleared. Really Don? So Don said this during a phone call with Um No Thanks Investigates channel. Doug was on the phone to Don when Don made these claims. And this was on a video that was called Good News with Distress Hand Signal Criminal Investigation into agency that runs foster care. Then there's a dash DW calls. This was streamed live by Um No Thanks Investigates on the 9th of November 2021. And I will put a link for it in my video description for you guys. So the approximate timestamp of Don speaking is around the 3.33 or the 3.34 point of this video. That is where you will hear Don saying what I'm talking about today. Weirdly, Don also said that Dr. Phil has made it known. Made it known what? That him and Candace aren't suspects? I was under the impression, but perhaps I'm wrong, that everybody in Summer's family is still a suspect. Perhaps they're not, or perhaps as usual, Don's talking BS. So I'm going to call BS on this. I don't believe a word of this. I think this is made up a story in Don Wells' mind. And as usual, you can imagine what this might be doing for me. It's raising something. What could that something be, you say? Yes, that's right. My little red flag is flying today for Don Wells. I don't believe a word of this, Don. My red flag is flying. I think you're lying. I think you're mistaken. I think you're full of BS. So you never know with Don Wells, guys. Is this just something in Don's head? Is it a figment of Don Wells' imagination? Or is it really that him and Candace are kind of not suspects and sort of not being looked into anymore? I'm not sure that I buy it. I think it's perhaps something that Don has been telling people to make himself feel better because being a suspect in the disappearance of your missing five-year-old daughter can't be very nice, especially if you're not involved in her disappearance. Who can say whether Don is involved in his daughter's disappearance? Personally, I think he has guilty knowledge of what happened to Summer, but that doesn't mean that he's involved. I've always thought that there was an accident that was covered up by Candace, but perhaps Don helped cover it up too. I really can't be sure, but I've never thought that Don harmed his daughter, and I've never thought either that Candace harmed her daughter on purpose. I do still think, to this day, an accident was covered up. Who knows what went on? Could Summer have had an accident at the swimming hole? Did she have an accident at the family home? Was a game of hide-and-seek being played between Summer and her brothers, according to Chris McDonough, who was told by a police officer that the boys had said they were playing hide-and-seek when Summer disappeared? Could a game of hide-and-seek have gone tragically wrong? Did Summer fall down the stairs? Did Summer fall off of her swing? Could Summer have gone into the woods and had an accident there? Who knows? I just hope and I pray that one day we're going to really know what happened to Summer. Just when you thought Don Wells couldn't be any more delusional, he comes out with yet more delusions, yet more BS, yet more rubbish, because in my opinion, and as always guys, it is just my opinion, Don Wells must still be a suspect in his daughter's disappearance, as must Summer's mother, Candace. Now, obviously, I'm not in America, I don't work for the police, so I could be wrong, but in my opinion, I doubt they've been ruled out, as there's no reason to rule them out at the moment. As you may be able to hear, guys, the blackbirds are singing yet again in my garden. I've made the mistake of filming at dusk again, so if you can hear tweeting like you could in one of my previous videos recently, that's what it is. It's the noisy blackbirds in the garden, and I've picked a bad time to film. Unless you do enjoy the bird song, and at the moment it's the evening bird song, and the blackbirds are really going for it, trying to outdo each other, to see who can sing the loudest. Here you go. So it would seem that Doug from Um No Thanks' channel is no longer corresponding with Don. He doesn't want to speak to him anymore. So that leaves me wondering, where will Don pop up next? Will he go back on Ziggy's channel? Will he go back on Cher's channel? Whose YouTube channel will he appear on next? Because I know he's appeared on quite a few lately. I don't think Don can stay off of YouTube. I think it's become a bit of an addiction for him. He can't stop talking. He loves the limelight and the attention, in my opinion. And I really don't think it will be long before he'll be back on YouTube. And in my opinion, I reckon he might wait for the Dr. Phil show to be aired, if it is really going to be aired tomorrow and Friday this week. And then maybe, just maybe, 
after that show has aired, he might just show back up here on YouTube. As I said in one of my videos the other day, guys, he won't be appearing on my channel anytime soon. I don't intend to contact Mr. Don Wells or Candace Fly. I do appreciate all of the other creators that have spoken to them because some really excellent interviews have come out where I've gained a lot of information that I didn't know before. So I certainly do respect anyone that has spoken to Don. I just don't want to have him on my channel because a lot of people that have had him on their channels get unnecessary drama from other creators, ongoing arguments, ongoing dramas that I don't want to be a part of. Now, I'm not saying that everybody that has spoken to Don or Candace has this drama, but sadly, there is a lot of arguments and a lot of beef between people here on YouTube, which in my opinion is very sad, quite unnecessary sometimes, sometimes necessary if someone has pissed you off. I appreciate that. But as always, I want to stay well out of all the drama and just stick in my own lane. So I'm going to play the clip for you now, guys, in case you haven't heard it, where Doug and Don are speaking and Don claims that him and Candace aren't really suspects anymore and aren't really being looked into. Really, I don't buy it. I don't think it's true. But as always, I could be wrong. How do you know that she's been kidnapped when you were at work? We still don't know if something happened to her, Don, with somebody that you love or care about that's hiding it from you. How do you, how do you know that this didn't happen? Well, because I know my wife, but I know the emotions that she's been going through. I know, you know, and I just know. I know I'm 100%. There's no other explanation in my mind other than she was abducted. There just ain't anything else. Well, everyone's still a suspect, they say, Don, and I'm just saying that. Uh, no, actually, no. Me and Candace aren't really suspects. We've kind of been cleared, you know, even uh, Dr. Phil made that known. Uh, uh, other people uh, have made that known. You know, the only thing that they say is that she might hold some memory of somebody, but we don't know who, that might have followed her or something. So you know, Candace, is, so Candace or, having a stroke or something? has affected her ability to remember if someone's followed her or not? Well, well, she don't, I don't know. She didn't have a stroke until summer got gone and all, and all this stuff, it is, everybody turned on us. So what do you think, guys? Had you heard this live on Doug's channel or is this the first time you're hearing it? Please pop your comments below. Let me know what you think. Do you think Don's lost the plot? Do you think he's full of BS? Do you think he's deluded like I do? Or do you think that he has actually been told that him and Candace aren't really suspects anymore and that they're in the clear? Because I can't believe that that can possibly be true. Please share your thoughts with me, guys. I love reading your views on this case, especially where Don is concerned because of his such strange and delusional behaviour. Most of us are in agreement that he's on the edge, that he's losing the plot. And I imagine most of us are also in agreement that Don should stay off of YouTube and sort out his relationship with Candace. Well, as usual, I'd like to say a big thumbs up and a thank you and a hello to all of my new subscribers and members. I really do appreciate you guys. You all mean a lot to me and I really do appreciate all of your support. Well, as always, guys, I hope you're all well. I hope you're taking care of one another. And as usual, I'm gonna be back with you all very soon for another true crime video. Bye for now.